how to use bicycle gears effectively is a query which a lot of cyclists have. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to operate cycle gears. To understand how to use cycle gears efficiently, first, we need to understand what a drivetrain is and what its different components are. Don't forget to subscribe and do share with your friends who have just bought a cycle. Your drivetrain comprises of six components. The first component, your shifters, which is located on your handlebars. The second component, your front crank set. The next component is your rear cassette. Next, we have the front derailleur and the rear derailleur. Now, this drivetrain is brought together by the six components the chain. The front derailleur's job is to shift the chain between the different cranksets available in the front. The rear derailleur shifts the chain onto different cogs on your rear cassette. So these components work together to give you a good cycling experience. Initially when you have just bought a gear cycle, it can be a little intimidating when you are told that you have 16 gears, 21 gears, 24, even 27 gears. So how to use these gears is quite simple. You don't need to worry too much unlike a car where you have to start from one and go through four, five. The gears are designed so that you get more comfort when you're cycling. So to understand how to use gears in a bike, first we need to understand the type of gears available. While there are many manufacturers, Broadly speaking, you have three different types of gears. The first is a one bike, wherein there is a single crank in the front and all your gears are located at the back. So in which in this case, there is no derailleur for the front, but there's only a single rear derailleur. The second is the two bike. In the two bike, you have two cranks in the front and there's a front derailleur to shift the chain between these two cranks. The third is the three bike. There are three cranks in the front and a front derailleur available to ensure that your chain can shift between all three cranks. Now, what do the numbers mean on the cycle gears? It's very simple. If you're looking at it when you're sitting on the bike, it's going to start from left to right. So the left is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Even in the front, it is 1, 2, 3. So when you look at your rear cassette, the first gear is the largest cog and the 7th, 8th or ninth gear is the smallest cog. On the front, the first gear is the smallest crank and second or third is your larger crank. Now let's look at the shifters in the front. On the right hand side, the shifters will control your rear derailleur. And the left hand side the shifter controls your front derailleur. To shift the chain to the left, you have to use your thumb and push the lever. To shift the chain to the right, you use your forefinger and press the trigger. On the left hand side, you use your thumb to shift the uh, chain to the right and use your the index finger to shift the chain to the left. To 
summarize. On the right, you use your thumb to shift from 8 to 7 to 6 to 5 here. And your index finger to go from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In the front, you use your thumb to go from 1 to 2 and your index finger to go from 2 to 1. When you're using a cycle gear, you just have to keep one thing in mind. The larger the gear cog at the back, the easier it's going to be for you to pedal. As you come to the smaller gears, it's going to become a little bit more difficult. So, use the larger gears if you have an incline or you want an easy ride. If you're looking to go fast, if you're on a flat road, use the smaller cogs because that will give you more speed. Once you get comfortable using the rears, then start looking at the front. The smaller crank in the front is easier. It actually makes pedaling easier. The larger crank in the front makes it more difficult. Therefore, the more difficult one gives you more speed, but if you're looking at going up an incline, the smaller one is a better option. Now to demonstrate which gears to use where and how easy it actually is, I'm going to be using the cycle to climb up this ramp. What you see over here is your typical ramp which is there in most apartments coming out of the basement. First I'm going to be showing you the right gears that is the largest cog at the back and the smaller crank in the front. That is going to make it easier and well a quick ride up this ramp. As you just saw, it is a steep incline and it's not as easy as it looks but I could manage to sit on the seat and put enough effort so that I could come up easily. Now let's see in the wrong gear. And all I did was shift to the smallest cog at the back. It was so difficult that I couldn't even come up. So despite having a small run-up, I could not make it up. This shows the importance of choosing the right gear before car climbing. And always remember, change your gears before you start your incline. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you get notified about all my future uploads. As you just saw, I was in first gear and the smallest cog in the front and I'm pedaling fast but I'm not going fast. Now, I'll do the same thing with a better gear choice. Now in this one, I was using the smallest cog in the back and the small cog in the front. Much more easier and a good speed too. And now some common mistakes people make while operating cycle gears. First, do not Change gears when you're not pedaling. That is, make sure that you're pedaling, your wheels are moving for you to change gears. As not doing so can lead to long-term issues with your derailleur and your chain. Another mistake people make is keeping the chain cross. In which case, you're looking at keeping the first gear in the front and eighth or ninth gear at the back. This keeps the chain cross and it can lead to your chain wearing out faster and the teeth of your cassette and crank wearing out soon too. If you've just got a gear cycle and you do not know how to use the cycle gears, 
let me give you a little tip which will help you get over that gear fear. If you have a 3 by drive frame, keep the chain on the center. If you have a 2 by keep it on the smaller ring. So this gear keeps one headache off your head. I hope you like this video on how to use your gears properly and be a safe rider on your cycle. Do share this with your friends who have just bought a cycle or who don't know how to use their gears properly. And until next time, safe ride everyone.